Hello and welcome to a brand new series on Fen Edge. So, this uh, got released the other week uh, by a modder called uh, Red Dog. It isn't on the mod tub. He posted it on his uh, itch.io page, which I will leave a uh, link for in the description down below. Um, it is a British map based in the Lincolnshire Fens. It's, uh, it isn't your typical British map, I would say. Because obviously, the Lincolnshire... I'd say as a whole is is fairly uh, flat landscape so it's not your typical sort of hilly um, map that being said it is still a really really nice uh, looking map with, um, with some really really nice features different uh, custom sheds um, I mean one really really nice feature is the fact that <clears throat> obviously all your like my new machinery and tools and, and what have you one shop and then like real life if you put any seed or fertilizer or anything like that it spawns at a different shop which is a really really nice uh, feature um yeah it's really really nice i've been looking forward to playing this um i was just waiting for a couple of little things to be fixed which weren't massive anyway but um yeah really really looking forward to uh, jumping into this map so it is a massive map. It's going to be a big old task farming this single player, but um, nevertheless, I am really, really looking forward to it. It is a four times map, so unfortunately for console players, it won't be out on console. But um, yeah, an array of different size fields. Um, there's even, I think, there's ten farms on this map, so it's it's huge. It's really, really nice map. Um, 149 fields, so plenty of us. Plenty for us to have a go at. Uh, we own fields 59 and 58. And then there's like a yard, which is what we're studying at the moment. And then there's sort of a bit of a side yard. Um, so that's what we own. Um, I have obviously um, bought, as usual, all the sort of starting equipment we need to have a good start and fertiliser and whatnot. Um, so, uh, yeah. The two fields we own have been harvested. So we are playing, as always, with vision farming. So today's task, I think, is we're going to try and get both fields lined. I have got two massive piles of lime here ready to, uh, to go. So we'll try and line both of them. And then maybe today, but definitely next episode, we will uh, make a start on uh, plowing both fields so we've got the john deere and uh, the spreader hooked up ready to go what we'll do is we'll go and hop in the jcb telehandler get the bucket put on yeah i haven't seen many people um do much uh, YouTube content on this map. I know Grain Man has. Um, but other than that, no one has really um, I've seen done much on this map. So definitely thought I'd uh, show it off. But like I say, it is a really, really nice map. Can I, oh, maybe I can't take line in this bucket. No, oh, I can. Wow, this is a heavy bucket. Okay, maybe I need a lighter bucket. Or well, for careful, maybe it'll be okay. I'll just whiz about. Holds quite a bit this bucket, so probably won't take much to fill this uh, spreader up. Let's change that. We uh, we may have to go and purchase some more lime. I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll see how we get on. Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> I did buy quite a lot of lime, but. Yeah, hopefully this is uh, enough. Wow. This is definitely... I'm um, yeah, going to need to 
swap this out for a smaller bucket. I think we might be full. Let me just uh, quickly swap out this bucket. Right, so this should be a bit better now. I think the spread is probably full anyway, but we shall just see. Yeah, we're full. We're full. So we have got a, a John Deere dealership on this map, which is why we're quite got a John Deere combine, John Deere tractor. So, but I think with the size of the fields on this map and how many there is, we will end up getting probably a bigger combine, like um, like a probably like a, the CR combine. Oh, missing bits already. There we go. That's better. I don't think these fields overall, to be honest, need much lime. So we might get away with how much lime we've um, we've got stored. Not going down too quickly at the moment, so that's good. But yeah, like you can see, I mean, it's some bits are, are sort of you can tell it's not completely flat, flat like an American map, but it is, you know. The landscape is fairly flat, as it is, I think, overall in Lincolnshire. There isn't really much um, of a hilly landscape. So it's quite nice to sort of, yeah, farm in Britain, but with a, you know, different sort of landscape. And I think this is, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the second uh, four times map for FS22. We obviously had the Oaks, um, which I know is getting a revamp at the moment. But yeah, I think this is the second four times map we've had. So that in itself is, is really nice. Play um, another four times map. I think going forward, um, you know, some things that maps are going to need is one customizability you know being able to build your own yards and and whatnot um but also i think a lot of people are going to look you know for four times map as opposed to um you know the standard two times because i i, I mean i believe from what i've heard from other people the new gen consoles can handle four times maps now so I suppose it's more really down to giants what they do. But yeah, we start off with two decent sized fields, which is good. I think I'm going to plant both in oats. Because um, as always, oats is um, is worth quite a bit, as uh, the grain's worth quite a bit. And then also we can... Um, the uh, the straw and sell the straw i think this map is probably going to be more around arable growing arable crops and um and doing root crops as well i'm going to do root crops on this map um as opposed to a livestock map which is what it really is in uh, in lincolnshire obviously they do have livestock and there is livestock on this map but i think it's more around crop production in um in Lincolnshire as opposed to livestock production so that's what I think I'm going to do I mean because obviously at the moment we've got Moss Valley now which is um, you know sort of an, an animal map we've got Saxthorpe which is Port Farms I think is, you know isn't at the moment but probably will get you know get towards it we have got sheep on there so I think again we're farming in different landscapes so it's quite nice to just change it up a bit with uh, with my farm and then just do sort of work us around arable because yeah i do i do like playing with the animals and it's my favorite thing to do is farming livestock but again it's 
nice as always to sort of keep it fresh and, and change things up a bit so doing a good job with this field I mean obviously this map is going to be a perfect uh, multiplayer map 10 farms means uh, yeah lots of your well the size of the map as well 149 fields it means you can have a, a real good game of multiplayer on this map got to be careful I don't go into like these ditches There we go, turning the green, turning the field nice and green. Turning the green. <laughs> yeah, I think looking at the field, it wasn't too bad anyway, but just to give us a good start. Yeah, it's not too bad. Some places it is, other places I don't think it's too bad. Maybe it is. Anyway, either way, to give us the best first uh, harvest. I think we're best in uh, in lime in it. Right, so we're nearly out of lime pretty much, so we'll head back and um, get filled up again. I'm pleased though that it's it's going quite far. I'm not using a massive amount, so yeah, I'm definitely confident that we're gonna have enough to do both fields, which is perfect. It means I haven't got to go spend some more money and um, buy some more. Might as well leave it running. <clears throat> There we go. Again, I do like this uh, this better. I can't remember where I got this from now, but uh, it is a nice better. I think it's like a sort of it's a typical sort of setup you'd see for spread if they did spread lime in the UK. Not that a lot of real, I'd say a lot of UK farmers do spread lime, but. I think if they did, this is sort of the typical setup for it. Oh, there's some weight in this bucket. Right, there we go. We're full again. We're full. I think as well, I might sort of try and detail the yard up a bit to try and put some stains down and whatnot. Just so it looks a bit more... It, lo it looks like a brand new yard <laughs> at the moment, so try and make it look a bit more uh, used. There we go. I mean, it's funny, you know, you look at the size of this field, 59. Pretty decent sized field, but you look at it on the map and it's not even one of the biggest. Like you look at field 120 or 145, 76. There, uh, there must be uh, some real big fields. Real big. 
yeah, definitely going to be doing some uh, some big farming on this map. I do want to do because I know in the in Lincolnshire as well they do quite a bit of um, vegetable growing. So I'd quite like. I mean, obviously we can't do um, all sort of vegetables, but I do want to try and get some carrots and potatoes that sort of thing going i have got have found uh 4d modding has got um like a root crop harvester which has a hopper um and it um it'll harvest all the premium dlc cr uh, crops so that'll definitely make um, doing like the bread beets and the carrots and the parsnips are um, a lot more uh, enjoyable to do so yeah definitely gonna have a go at carrots on here I have got some like uh, bunker silos as well that we can um, use uh, for the carrots and, and all that Not sure what the uh, soil type is on this field. Not the best, silty clay. Yeah, not good at all. So, I think overall this these fields won't yield great, but uh, which is why all the more reason to um, do as much as we can possible in terms of liming it and plowing and whatnot. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that we're not how much lime we're using. We're not using much at all. But you, you perhaps don't on um, on silty clay soil. I mean, it's the first time I've done a field where it is all silty clay, so... I think the first field we purchase, our actual purchase field, will probably be field 60, that one next door. Because it sort of, you know, joins in, into our uh, yard, so I think that would be a good shout, our first field to buy. I'm not sure how much it will be. Um, 510k, so yeah, pretty pricey. But it is a decent sized field saying that, so... Yeah, I mean, we're looking to the field like the real big ones, 84s, 1.2. We said about fields down here, 1.75, 1.4. Whoops. So. But I don't think it's impossible to get to that point where we can buy them sort of fields because they are big fields, like I say, on this map. So we are going to be able to make some, uh, some good money. Like that field over there, that's fields... Uh, field 36. That's a big old field there. So, yeah. Yeah, really, really looking forward to this map. Really looking forward to uh, doing a series on it. And obviously, you guys watching, I would definitely recommend uh, going and playing it. Even if you're a single player and not multiplayer real nice map to work uh, to play on refine that go and do this other half of the field Still doing fine for lime, which is good. Cracking on nicely. So, I have finished the first field. That is all limed, ready for ploughing. 
So one down, one to go. We'll uh, get filled up again. And we'll crack on with that field just there. There we go. A ball of lime on board, ready to go. There we go, and we'll lime this field then. See our combine there in the shed. I did swap it out for instead of tires, I swapped it out for tracks, so added a few different um things on it as well. GPS, um manual discharge all them sort of things. So What I might do is I might get this field plowed because this is a smaller one. Get this field plowed off screen and then next episode we'll come back and uh, we'll plow the uh, the bigger one. The bigger field. But yeah, this series, this is going to run every um, every Wednesday once a week so probably because of the size of the map we'll probably be on this series for um, quite some time which is good is uh, really nice I've been waiting for some, some new maps and fresh maps to come out so it um yeah really pleased that this is dropped been enjoying watching um Rain man on his live streams playing this map as well they've been doing um mp on this map was enjoying watching that Perfect. <laughs> I think in hindsight, I probably bought a bit too much lime. Won't matter. We've got it for um, when we need it, and when we buy future fields. So, not that expensive to be fair. Lime. It's not like I bought too much fertilizer. Then again, can you really buy too much fertilizer or lime? then you've always got it and you haven't got to worry about buying any more for a long time so I suppose not such a bad thing maybe Might even do this whole field on one um, one load. Be cool. <laughs> yeah, we are actually going to do this whole field on one load. That is pretty impressive. <laughs> I suppose, like I say, I haven't done silty clay fields like this before, so... Experiencing this for the first time. But there we go. That is both fields lined. <clears throat> All ready for ploughing. So what we'll do is. Let's see we're going to put it back in here. <clears throat> I 
I'm not gay, you know. Pop this in there. There obviously are um, silo bins. Again, I haven't used um, bins like this before for uh, storing grain, so that'd be cool to uh, give them a try. Put the plow ready for next episode. <clears throat> I will do both fields, I think, in um, in the episode. I don't know, I do sometimes feel that I sort of, yeah, I, I don't want to do too much off screen and you guys not see, uh, but at the same time, I don't want to make the videos boring, you know, I want to make them fun to, uh, to watch, so. It's all hooked up, ready to go anyway. Run quickly back next door. Sort out the telly handler before we uh, call it an episode today. Sort this pile out to be fair actually. Just push it up a bit. Push this up. That was a bit heavy. There we go. Park it up. We park it here. Pop this in here. There we go. So yeah, like I say, I um, will come back next episode and, uh, and plow both fields. Obviously, it's a case of at the moment, rather than harvest, we're uh, preferring, preparing the fields for, uh, for next episode. So um, obviously, with a lot of fields on this map, we can do contracts as well. So when we've got our own fields, uh, sorted out then we can um, go and have a go at um, doing some contract fields like you know we've got one there which um, I, wanna, I don't know whether I want to do parsnips actually but we've got some good ones for harvesting oats you know so fertilising ones as well quite a bit one would be quite good I'll have to accept that so we've got that but um, I mean, again, another nice feature on this map is um, like the uh, the AI generated um, pictures, not just the sort of bog standard in-game ones. Uh, you've got like custom people on this map, which is really, really nice as well. So, yeah, I like that. It is, again, like I, I say throughout the whole episode, but it is a really, really nice map, this. Definitely would recommend you go and uh, check it out at least. Go and give it a download. Um, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, as always, please remember to hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel as well and you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.